Oh, Did he get it? Yeah. Oh, I know. We're live. What's up? What's up, YouTube? Hello, hello. Welcome to All the right. YouTube. So, we got no people in here right now. Let me go ahead and just uh, say what's up, fellow Earthlings, and my fellow family. This here is Harry. Good He's one of uh, the YouTube subs. And uh, he came today to kind of do a live show with us and talk about how to be your best self. And uh, basically, we just want to give a uh, give a good live show, guys, and and show you what what the um, the purpose of our channel is to inspire others and uh, to help others and to just always be your best self. So that's basically what we're going to talk about today. Um, so we're just going to wait until a couple more people get in here. It looks like we've got two people in so far, and. Uh, if you two uh, can see me, there's three people in now, go ahead and leave a comment, guys, in the live chat. Let me know if you can hear me, See if you can see me, if everything is rolling smoothly. Somebody give me a comment. I want to see it. <laughs> show it all. Show it all. So, basically, uh, what we're going to talk about today, uh, Harry, is is how to be your best self, mm -hmm. and when you're when you're doing your best to be your best self, you got to surround yourself with the right people. Absolutely. And that's like the number one thing to me is surrounding myself with the right kind of people. And, uh, and I think that you're, you're that kind of person. And I think that I you, you know how to do that as well. I so that. I definitely, um, I surround myself with people like Richard and like Manny. Um, and when basically, so let's see, hi Austin, uh, all seems good. I can hear you and see you. Awesome. Thank you, trash your junk. That's awesome. We got five people in here on Sunday. Thank you guys. I know for some of you it's actually pretty early if there's like a time difference, uh, but really thank you for joining in and uh, hit that like button. I see there's only two thumbs up right now. Subscribe, you know. <laughs> yeah, go ahead and subscribe if you haven't already. It's the best. And uh, so we're talking about how to be your best self for those of you that are just joining in and um, in surrounding yourself with the right people so that you can move forward in life and just uh, keep stepping up your game instead of having people that are in your life kind of just helping you move backwards. No, you, you know, you ever had that where you just have a, a person or a friend or somebody you thought was there for you, but like really in the end, they were, they were only hurting you. They were only tearing you down and they were only keeping you back. Absolutely, man, I've had friends that I don't want to put them down, but I've had friends that w wanted to be stagnant. They wanted to stay in the same place, and you have to move forward. You have to keep pushing. You have to find people that are into the same things as you or even better things as you. You just have to keep flow. You have to keep the flow going. Yeah. There's no way to... Let me turn my projector down real quick, man. Yeah, it works. <laughs> this thing is going to talk over us, but I'm going to get some, uh, some stuff playing in the background there. Hey, comment if you guys like my uh, my new projection screen and uh, and everything, the new studio, guys. I think it's sick. So, this is our last live me and my wife did. I'll play that behind us. But yeah, as Harry was saying, there's people that just hold you back in life, and you got to cut those people out right away. Uh, that's what me and my wife have learned, and um, and my wife, me and my wife have learned this in in life, dude. Where. Uh, we had the we had these friends, you know. They would come in and they were always asking us to do this and do that and go out to the club or go to the beach and and we're trying to tell them, hey, we're we're trying to build a million dollar business, I literally a million dollar business. And uh, you can't you don't have any time for leisure really when you're when you're trying to make a million bucks. Life is short and a million bucks is a lot to make in life. So if you guys want to make a million bucks, you have to have very little leisure and the only leisure you should have is for your family and friends and people that are helping you make that million dollars those are the people you give your time other than your business and uh, working towards making that million dollars that's true that's true you know what I'm saying if if you don't have those people there for you to, to help you out and to push you forward then yourself is the best person to go to for anything basically so when you it's it's hard to explain man it's hard it's it's it comes from the heart when you're there to help somebody and to help them move forward and and to push them and to help them strive to their best and 
If somebody's holding you back, you gotta let them go. You gotta, you can't move yeah. forward. Yeah, let them go, guys. If you have, I'm gonna turn my light down a little bit here. But if you have friends in your life, I'm sorry to say, but if they're calling themselves friends uh, that are not helping you in life and they're only hindering you, they don't care about what you are doing and they only care about themselves, they're not your friends. Nope. I'm sorry to say, that's just 100% the truth. And uh, I really, I don't have many friends, guys. I think. All the people watching might be my friends. <laughs> yeah. I'm a hustler. I'm a go-getter. I do have a, a, a few good friends that I stick around and that, with and, and talk to um, on a yearly basis. But we don't even hang out that much because we all have our own lives to live. Mm -hmm. And we all are striving to be the best people that we can be. Okay. So, like, that's one of the first and um, easiest things to realize is... Make sure you're surrounding your people, your, yourself with people that are going to help you in life and help you better yourself because uh, if not, then it, you're going to be just like the people you're hanging around and that's just facts. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. So uh, another way to, uh, to better yourself, to be your best self in life is uh, to pay attention to others um, more than yourself and don't focus on the money so much. Uh, as much as, as helping people so mm -hmm. like focus more on on helping focus more on doing what you can uh, for those other living creatures on earth and for mother earth and, and helping us keep the um, environment clean for our children these are all things that can help us better ourselves and feel better about ourselves Absolutely. Um, the money will come the money will always come right. it's just the people that you encounter and are, are nice to and are a human being to right. is what matters. That right. they, that making somebody else's day is, I feel like is more important than making a thousand dollars that day because imagine that person didn't have anything. They didn't have that a thousand dollars. Right. You are gonna make that a thousand dollars when you hustle and work. Yeah. So when you come across somebody that doesn't it, it, and you help them out, it's a big, it's a big, big step impact. up. Yeah. Big, it helps you. It helps them. Oh yeah. And uh, I know that every time I go and do a junk removal, and um, you know we make a, a good amount of money on it, but at, in the end, the person comes up to me and hugs me and cries, and I know it's it, it's just an amazing feeling uh, to to make someone feel that kind of joy, and uh, and all we did was our job, but we did it so well and so uh, respectfully and and with care that these people not only want to leave us a five-star review but they want to go and talk to the owner which is me and a lot of times they don't know that until the, the end of the job they'll come yeah. up to me or invite us for like lunch yeah, or dinner or exactly. something exactly you know, it's awesome it's yeah. a nice feeling good morning good morning yeah how you doing what's up good morning i am co chaotic <laughs> chaotic. Yeah, chaotic chaotic got it yeah. <laughs> what's up i am chaotic and uh uh like how do you spell Joe, how do you say your last name? At Ordaz. 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 Joe Ordaz. What's up, man? Thanks for joining in, guys. I hope uh, everybody's having a good day out there on Sunday and you guys plan on spending some time with your family. Uh, we just wanted to get a nice, quick 30 minute live show up to kind of inspire and, uh, and, and get you guys moving this morning and maybe even throughout the whole next week, you'll remember this live show and some of the things we've said on how to be your best self. We're like a business church almost, like a Sunday morning. Yeah, yeah, church, guys. You know? yeah. <laughs> something small. That's right. This is uh this is the business Motivation church. Right here. And... We're gonna start doing something like this every Sunday, guys. I'm gonna do about a 30 minute show. I'm gonna have somebody new here every Sunday, and we'll probably have uh, Harry come back because uh, me and him might be doing some business very oh, soon. Yeah. Very soon, guys. Might so have um, works. yeah, stay on the lookout for that. Uh, so another tip of like, you know, how to be your best self. This is uh, one of the things that I notice in my life that stresses me out a lot. And when I fix it, I just feel so relieved. And that is being clean, being cleanliness, being organized, having things picked up and, order. and having things in order. So, um, for example, when you, when you take something out, a pen to write with, you know, I put it back or I... I uh, take the vacuum out to vacuum the house. I wrap it up and I put it back. Um, or if I just take the broom out, sweep the tile, I put that back. Just putting things back where it goes right away will actually save you time in the end because 
If you put that broom down right against the wall, you leave that, that vacuum unraveled in the kids' room, and you, you forgot to wash your couple of dishes throughout the day. Now at the end of the night, all that stuff's laying around. And and you might not know where it's at because you had a specific spot for it, and right. then it's orders everything. Gone. Orders everything. It's gone. So keeping things organized, keeping your life clean, because I know that when I walk into a messy house, like I have three mm -hmm. kids, now I got two dogs, um, and it, when I walk into a messy house, I feel stressed. Oh, yeah. I feel so stressed. I just feel like, ah, oh, what can I do? What can I do to, to clean this place up right now? And what do I start with? Because there's so much crap everywhere. Yeah. And uh, so cleanliness is a huge part of uh, being your best self in life. So what we've covered so far, if you guys, uh, if, if there's any new people that joined in here, is that Basically, to be your best self, surround yourself with the best people, people that are helping you in life and, uh, and not hindering you. Um, second is just being nice, being kind to people because that, that karma will come back to you. Whether you want to call it karma or, or chi or, or God or... It's just yeah. a good comeback, it's man. Good, it's just man. the life. It's just the way you should be. I don't know. It's just... What you give, you get. That's yeah, what I believe. That's how it is. That's how it is. The way you are, the way you portray yourself, the way you are to people when nobody's looking, the way you are to anybody. Just without a camera, with a camera, it's just the way you are is everything. Right, It just right. makes you you, you know? Yeah, me and you were talking about that earlier, how right. like I, I do my very best for you guys on YouTube here to realize that I'm being my myself on camera. I'm on camera the same as I'm off camera. I'm 100%, the same. 100%. And uh, Harry can vouch for that. This is, I'm, I'm not even lying to you guys. This is my first time meeting Austin. And everything everything is just... He's a cool guy. The way, the way it is. And the way he portrays himself, the way he is in person, the way he is outside is just amazing. He's mo a, a true motivation, a true motivator. Thanks, man. Thanks. Like, yeah. You, just, uh, you, so Harry's a subscriber on YouTube, guys. He's usually absolutely. here with you guys watching this yeah. live or watching my videos playing behind me. Yes. Um, but he's here with me now. He gave me a call. He, he lives an hour away. He drove an hour to come see me today, absolutely. guys. He even cracked his windshield. <laughs> Like a giant rock, he sends me a picture. He's like, "Yeah, this giant rock just cr cracks my windshield." I panicked. I wasn't gonna lie. Oh, <laughs> on the way to to meet me for the first time. So like, I, I just feel all worth it. I, thanks, man. All worth yeah, it, I feel so grateful to have him here. And we're gonna we're gonna talk some business after this live show. Yeah. And um, in the next uh, couple of videos, I'll explain to you guys kind of what we talked about and uh, and see if we can make something happen with it. Absolutely. So, um, yeah, like to be your best self, guys, we have those, those things that, um, I've really worked on in my life and, uh, and, and those have helped me It's surrounding myself with good people, being nice to the people that I surround myself with and getting that back in return. Like I always help people, but in return, I always have people helping me. My, my guys, Richard and Manny, they, they bring me food. Um, they, they help me out when they know that I'm broke. They know that I pay myself just as much as I pay them. It's a cycle, man. We're, we're, we all get paid the same, even though I'm the owner. Yeah. And, uh, and that's what I do to really help inspire people. I want to inspire people to be themselves, to be their best selves. So that, um, in the end, I have a bunch of these people that are around me being the best selves. And, and, and so am I. And like all of us working together can create an empire, oh, and a, a million dollar empire. An amazing empire. Um, You're on your way there, man, and I'm. I hope to be a part of it too. Hell yeah! But, um, hell yeah! Just uh, just with um, just going back to everything you've been saying, like how I've met you and how everything happened. I was on YouTube looking at jump removal, <laughs> and I was just like, oh man, I, I do renovation. I need to figure out something because everybody just asks for removals and junk. And I just looked up Orlando junk removal. Right. Austin popped up. And since then, I promise you my whole mindset about this business and the way he runs it specifically, because I've watched a bunch of other, the way he runs it and how passionate he is about the work, the his employees, um, the environment, like stuff that people should be. But they seem to neglect because, you know, it's life. Everybody lives it. But he literally keeps an eye on every one of those things. 
and it's amazing. It, it's true motivation, like I said, and I'm glad to be here. I'm happy to be here, and uh, yeah, I'm happy in front here, of man. this camera with you, man. That's awesome. It's awesome. It's awesome. <laughs> it is. It's really awesome. I, I I'm happy that you're here. We've got eight people on watching right yeah. now. So uh, anybody that's just joining in, guys. Uh, really, I thank you like taking time out of your Sunday uh, just to kind of watch us and, and hear what we have to say and I hope that I really hope that some of this advice uh, helps you guys about being your better self and, and if you guys have any questions go ahead and, and ask down below any questions that you had on my past videos um, I'd be more than welcome to answer them uh, right now on, on live. Uh, because I, I do have a power hour that you guys can call me and you get a full hour with me I'll leave a link down below after this live is done or you can find it in my bio on my channel uh, So you can call me and talk to me for about an hour for 45 bucks guys um, Or you can just ask me free questions right now while we're on live and I'll give you the best answer I can take advantage because that's one of the best things that somebody can offer especially with this type of uh, knowledge and experience and all the stuff he has so I would take advantage if you're ever thinking about this business and I think yeah honestly hey what's up Brittany Brittany Reynolds thank you uh, thank you guys for for letting us know that the storage unit looks good storage I uh, I am I'm excited about it I mean you can't even tell that we're in a storage container no, so no, no, <laughs> thank no. you and what's up junk zombies I appreciate you joining in um, so today we're just talking about how to be your best self guys and uh, and we've covered several different things it, it, real quick because I know that some of you have already been on here but basically you want to be your best self by, by surrounding yourself by the best people, Great people. being yeah. nice to those people being kind to uh, those people and mother earth because it is a living thing it keeps us alive yeah. uh, every breath we take comes from mother earth guys so you know make sure that since you're in a junk removal business right you're in a construction business and and we all haul trash in these dumpsters mm -hmm. so just make sure that we take care of the environment make sure you use your tarps correctly because that's that's a huge part I believe that's karma if you're gonna if you are knowingly not tarping your loads or knowingly gonna lose trash out of that load um, I feel like you should do a better job you should be out there covering your loads because it will come back to you. The earth will get you back for throwing trash <laughs> on her knowingly. And, um, and if it's by accident, it's by accident. Shit happens. But that just means you got to do a little bit more for your community. Maybe um, clean up a, a couple of uh, parking lots. Or next time you get out of your car and there's a plastic bottle laying on the ground, pick it up. Throw it in the back, in the back seat and mm -hmm. throw it in the trash. There's, there's the ways, little things that yeah, the little things, those Just, little things and, and you will get good karma coming back to you. You'll get that love coming back to you. Um, just for, you don't have to show no feeling. Yeah. It's yeah. just like a, oh man, I did this. I don't care if anybody sees it or not. Right. I did this for myself and where I live on. Right. You know? Yeah. I live, I live here. I live on this planet that gives me life. And, uh, and so, you know, picking up this piece of trash and nobody knowing about it. It is is perfectly fine with me and I feel great I really do um, okay. th yeah. there's a test that I like and I read this in a book mm -hmm. and it was about a year ago so for those of you that are looking for employees this is a great test if you're having uh, some kind of um, basically employee interview day where you have a couple of interviews set up to find a new person you take a couple of pieces of paper crumple them up throw them on the ground throw them where they have to pass by it right Okay, so See these people, they when they pass by this garbage to, on the way to you to have an interview for a junk removal company and they don't pick it up, don't hire them. Mm -hmm. Don't hire them right off the bat. They didn't pick it. Don't even let them know that's why you're not hiring them. But if they're not, if they're not aware of all the garbage on the ground and they just walked over it to get their interview, then it even bother to pick it up, guys. They're not the right person attention for you. Attention to detail. Right? That's the whole attention to detail and... And not even that, it's just, uh, like you said, the earth, like, come on. Mother man. earth, man. It's on the yeah. floor. Yeah, like, like, I know, I know I put it there and it's kind of a setup, yeah. but you have to do that to see who people really are. You have to test people, oh, yeah. right? Oh, yeah. You got to test people, man. Look, you see this right here? <laughs> What's that, Harry? <laughs> that was like some, uh, croissant <laughs> this, <and bacon. laughs> this thing, this thing is full of food. Like, I don't know how many croissants he bought this morning. Four, four of us. Four of us. So, Harry took, took it out of his own time, his own money, 
this morning. This is his first time meeting me, guys, and he bought me Dunkin' Donuts. Like, I didn't need that, but he did that. He offered that. I didn't ask for it, and and here it is. We got four croissants, and that's just the, the type of love you want to see in everybody that you surround yourself with. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, it's so true, man. So this guy, Harry, he's a good guy. And you'll probably be seeing us working together pretty soon, guys. Yes, sir. So let's, uh, let's read some of these comments down here. What do we got? Um, how much, this is from uh, Joe. He says, how much does the weather in Florida affect your business? Uh, so the weather in Florida, man, is amazing during the wintertime. And I really just look forward to that. Yeah. Um, and during the summer is when it really affects us uh, big time because we're super, super hot. We're just sweating. Like I'm bringing three or four shirts per day just to do a couple of jobs. And uh, that's the worst part is the heat in Florida. Um, what's the rest of your question? I'm looking to relocate from California when I get out of the military uh, next year and start a junk removal business. Joe, that's an amazing idea, bro. Yes. And uh, and yeah, Florida is amazing to start junk removal business in. There are literally hundreds and hundreds getting started each month, but there's also hundreds and hundreds getting knocked off the, the map each month. So there's always uh, enough business out there for junk removal, dumpster rental uh, services. So yeah, that's great, Joe. And and when you get out of the military, man, just make sure to uh, let us know and stay in touch because that's, that's an awesome story. Maybe we can have you on live one day on a Zoom talk. That'd be great. Thank you for your service, man. Yeah, way. yeah. Awesome. Thank you for your service. Yeah. That's amazing. Um, so that's a, that's that's a guy right there, guys. Uh, Joe, he's uh, serving in our military. So mm -hmm. leave a comment down below. Thanks to Joe for uh, serving for us, and and that's that's literally selfless. Yeah, go out there sure. and, and serve our country. That's... My brother did that, and uh, and I thank my brother too. I know he's not on here watching, but uh, I love you, brother. I love you. I love you. All my brothers got three oh. brothers. <laughs> Uh, so what, what else we got here? Um, junk removal, J off hauling. What's going on, man? You've been making some good videos lately, uh, and I appreciate them. I've been watching them. J off hauling. Um, we upload whole videos about being kind. That's awesome, bro. Yeah, you got to be kind to people. Oh, yeah. It does help. Uh, how did you make it work while working full time jobs, scheduling weekends and and uh, dump times? So, uh, so I am chaotic. Bro, that's a good question, but um, I literally quit my job before I started this business. So I wasn't even working a full-time job. Um, I saved up some money, I bought my house, I bought my truck, and then I quit my job. I didn't even have a trailer. I quit my job and I didn't even have a trailer. <laughs> you just went all the way and look at this. So, yeah, man, uh, and this is four years later, guys. After I quit my job, four years later, this is where we're at right now. I've built this shipping container. I've built a, a business with seven roll-off dumpsters, uh, two Beautiful. trucks, and uh, and like, yeah, those trucks are broken down right now. It's pretty sad, but <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> that's also true. So oh, yeah, no. Harry doesn't even know this, guys. We have we have three trucks, actually, and we've been using our, our big red truck, which is the one we don't like to use, uh -huh. uh, but we've been using that because the GMC's in the shop getting a, uh, a diesel exhaust fluid delete Okay. Uh, because the diesel exhaust fluid heater has broken and to replace that is about the same amount to delete the system. So we're getting the, the system deleted, putting a tuner on it, and our GMC should be up and running soon. And the new Freightliner that we bought, big yeah, right there, huh? the big the Freightliner. Yeah. So yesterday our, uh, our what is it called, the um, air governor. So it's a, it's a governor for your air and it basically tells how much air can be put into your system. Right now it's not letting us put um, 100 pounds of air, which oh. is what needed for the brakes and all that. So we have to replace that. I got, I got the part yesterday, and I'm gonna replace that after this live show. Man. That'd I be great. You. Yeah, that'd be great, man. I appreciate that. Heck yeah. No. So yeah, uh, that's that's here. Read a couple of questions. What do we got here? Pick anything out. What's going on, everybody that joined in? What's up? And if you missed out while he's picking out a question, we're talking about being kind to people today, being your best self. Um, surrounding yourself with people that are like you, like-minded, and uh, not, not going to take you down, but build you up. Also, taking care of the earth, being clean, being organized, walking into a clean, organized shop, home, office, studio. That's all stuff that helps make you a better person. Creating a calendar and schedule, um, that will help you become a better person in the sense that you don't have to remember everything. It doesn't have to be in your head, guys. 
put it in a calendar, mm-hmm. right? Absolutely. Then your head can be free. You can you can really just stop thinking about all that junk. You have notes on your calendar. Phone. You have yeah. everything that allows you to do that type right. of stuff to keep you in order and in track. Use that technology. Yeah. You got a question? So, what do you got? Uh, who is it? My life crew uh, asked junk zombies a question, which is a really good question. Okay. The uh, so you think uh, there's still a way you can make money even, even wait even though there's bulk day even though there's bulk day. And, yeah. And yeah. junk removal. Uh, he actually answered it very well. That's uh. Where is he at? Right there. Yeah. There it goes. This one. Yes, sir. So junk removal, jail hauling, real estate, uh, cryptocurrencies. Mini dumpsters, demolition, and document shredding. Yeah, that's all stuff that you guys can do for sure. Um, so good answer, good answer, man. And people call them for because they miss that uh, bulk day. Right. A lot of people call junk removal services because they miss that Monday bulk right. day or whatever. There's only bulk one day bulk day a week, and yeah. if they need it done, they need it done. Also, guys, think about people that are doing remodels. Mm-hmm. Bulk pickup. They're not going to take all that tile and all that wood and all that remodeling stuff. Uh, people are constantly doing their bathrooms, doing their kitchens, yeah, uh, doing their floors, taking carpets out. Landscape. Um, doing yeah. Work. People that build these sheds, uh, they're, they're always constantly having extra metal to throw away. There's, mm-hmm. there's, there's so many different ways to make money, guys. I even work for uh, Domino's. Uh, we did a job for Ace Hardware the other day. Yeah. Um, uh, what else? Well, Chick-fil-A. We've done jobs for Chick-fil-A, Olive Garden. Apartment complexes. Apartment complexes. Uh, those are huge. my favorite. Yeah, they, they'll send you out. Go to week. apartment complexes, yeah, right? Every week, they'll tell you, come by and pick up a load. Yeah, if you guys haven't seen uh, the video about our apartment complex clean out, we got a couple of months back. It was literally $7,000 we made in three days. And it took four guys, and we did about 27 room cleanouts. Um, now, not every room was completely full of the rim, but we cleaned out 27 Beautiful. rooms. Beautiful. And uh, it was amazing. So that's what made this winter really kind of pop off and get started. And uh, so, yeah, we got a lot of questions on here. Let's get, let's I ask a couple more. Yeah, cool. thank you guys. Thanks for joining yeah, this in. That's awesome. Um, we got. Uh, Let's mm-hmm. see, La, I quit job without a truck. <laughs> <laughs> junk removal, JF hauling, bro. From a car to three million in three years. <laughs> yeah. or a car to, from a car to a million in three years. That's how you do it. Patience, hard work, side investments. That's right, man. So, uh, let's see, what else we got here, guys? Yeah, I'm glad that you guys are talking to each other in the comments yeah, and kind of awesome. having some conversation. That's amazing. Great interaction. Yeah. So, um, if any of you guys haven't subscribed to Junk Removal J. Off Hauling, click on his uh, channel and subscribe to him and uh, get him up to a thousand subscribers as fast as possible, guys, because uh, he's got some great content on there. And uh, if he keeps going, it's just going to get better and better. So that's what's up. So my life crew, he asked, how do you charge on prices? He actually has a bunch of videos on yeah. how he charges um, right. all, a lot of his jobs. If you right. go back on his videos that's how I actually I met with him because I was like oh man how do I do this how do I do that I was looking on videos and I found yeah. him and he literally is an open book about this it's yeah guys bad. I'll give you I'll give you all my information actually let me see if I can pull up a um a video here absolutely for so oh look there's us live right now oh hey live hey. <laughs> <laughs> That was a thumb for, uh, the, the thumbnail, I remember we just yeah. sat there like, oh, whoa, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> So guys, we've, uh, we've got hundreds, I, I literally have over a hundred videos on YouTube, so if you haven't checked these videos out, go back and check them out how we price, because there's not one way to price, there are a thousand ways to price, Sweet. and you have to figure out all of those different ways, because you can't go to a, a job that has junk in the backyard, junk in the house, junk in the front yard, junk in the attic, and tell them it's going to be four fifty a load. Mm-hmm. It doesn't work that way. You have to go here, you have to go there, you have to cut this up, you have to load that up, walk that from the backyard to the front yard. There's so much labor involved um, in certain jobs that you have to be able to have a range. Mm-hmm. So basically, the simplest way to tell you is I have a range. We, we charge between four seventy five. dollars and six hundred and seventy-five dollars per load. So obviously, four seventy-five per load will be like, hey, you got a pile in your driveway. We pull up, we load it up. 
475, that's an easy load, we're out of there. Now for a 675 load or maybe a 575 load, it's just different levels of difficulty and you'll learn how to judge that with experience, with time. So uh, just that's the best and easiest way I can explain how to, how to prep, how to price. That's a good, great so way. as far as our dumpster rentals, we have flat rate prices. And uh, that just means basically, all right, our 12 yard dumpster, we're charging 275. We'll leave it there for five days. Don't go over the wall. Don't put appliances. Don't put tile, concrete, chemicals, or TVs. That's what we ask them. So if they go over the walls, we charge them 75 bucks. Saw that last night also. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, and, and all this is on my videos, guys. So go check out all my videos. Uh, uh, look at um, the titles, and the titles are really what the video is going to be about. None of them are clickbait. Uh, and, I, and I hope that you guys can just continue learning from me. Uh, share my videos as much as possible yeah. on Facebook, Instagram. That really helps us out. I only see 12 likes on here, guys. 12 likes or, or seven That's likes. Right. There's 12 people and seven likes. <laughs> Come on, let's get some more likes. Get those likes up for me, guys. Good at math, <laughs> I want to, I want to see it at least climb up to twelve right now. Not too good. <laughs> if you're still on here watching, then I know that you can click that like button. It's like right down below somewhere. Oh, there it goes. Yeah. All right, we got eight likes. <laughs> We're working. So uh, let's see here. What else we got? Junk Zombie says advertising sucks. I spent about a hundred and fifty on Fever in the past month, but well worth it. Okay. So, uh, junk zombies, 150 in a month. That's 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 a good start. Um, the more money you pay out, the more business you'll get. The bigger customers and the bigger jobs. Right now, I'm gonna be completely honest. We spend about three thousand dollars a month on Google advertising. Three thousand dollars, guys. But we make about thirty thousand dollars. So we're spending ten percent of our money on advertising, and that's about normal. Yes. You want to spend no more than about 10% of your money on advertising. Uh, this Average. coming week, I'm going to be cutting our ads down literally to about $200 a month. We're going to be cutting it down way, way, way down because I'm going to try different things, a little bit of guerrilla marketing, um, try to get some more free jobs coming in uh, just to see how that works. Sometimes play around with it. Turn your ads off. Put oh, some yeah. on Facebook. Uh, go on Nextdoor. The Nextdoor app has gotten me plenty of jobs. It's a great um, app. Yeah, it's a great it is. App. And people don't really know about it. Go on next door, make yourself a, um, an app. I haven't, I haven't tried Fever, um, Junk Zombies. I don't know anything about Fever and or Fiverr. Or Fiverr, yeah, Fiverr. yeah, yeah. I've heard of that. So I'm gonna go check that out, bro. And maybe I'll make like a comparison video about it after I learn how to use it. Um, so it's a logo and card work, photos also. Oh, they're talking, they're talking uh, to each other. Yeah, he asked you if, if you agree with that landfill cost uh, is minimum factor of the total job cost. So a landfill cost is like a minimum, like as far as, uh, it can be, bro, but you have to really, I would items. agree in certain areas, certain items, because, you know, you go to these towns, these people are paying $100 per ton, yeah. $80 per ton. Yeah, your dump fees are going to be way up. Now, right, my my uh, dump fees are only twenty seven dollars per ton or something out here, guys. So it, it all it all depends. Uh, J F J J F Hauling. It really all depends, bro. You have to factor in where you're at. Um, obviously, since you're saying that you have pretty low dump fees, uh, but some people may have like hundred to eighty dollar a ton dump fees, and that's just way too much. I wouldn't even start a junk removal business if that's what your dump fees yeah, are. And if they are that high, you're gonna have to go six hundred and seventy five to eight hundred and seventy five dollars per load to make any kind of money. So uh, yeah, yeah, that's definitely that's my opinion on on basically what it costs. Now the biggest cost running a junk removal business. Um, are your fuel, your labor, which means hiring guys, mm -hmm. and uh, your advertising. Those are the three biggest costs you're gonna have. If you knock out advertising and you can do guerrilla advertising and just get business from there, that's gonna be huge. Yeah. And if you can keep your, um, your dump fees down by donating as much as possible, that's how I keep my dump fees down, guys. If you have items that are donatable, do not hesitate to drive to Goodwill or wherever you're going to donate it Absolutely. and give it to them for free. You don't have to pay to get rid of it. If you have any scrap metal at all, if it's 100 pounds, trust me, it's it's worth it to, to just save it. Bring it back to your office. Save that 100 pounds. Save the next 100 pounds. Save the next 100 pounds. 
Sure. Before you know it, you just saved a thousand pounds. And then that's half, that's half a ton, which for me, I just saved 13 bucks. Yeah. Plus I'm going to sell the metal now for another, I don't know, 50 and bucks. Make that money back. And make some money back. Yeah, so these are ways to keep your dump fees down, to keep your costs down. The only thing you really can't do anything about is uh, your labor, your people. Mm -hmm. You have to pay your people good. You can't just cut, cut them down yeah. or cut their hours. You can't do that. There's been days. They need to eat, man. Yeah. They got to eat. They yeah. might. So Manny has five children. Uh -huh. That means I have five children yeah, yeah, yeah. outside of my three children. Absolutely. Richard has a child. That means I have another, I have six other children to take care of outside of my, uh -huh. my family. This is why, this is why he is who he is. Look at, look at how he's talking there. Most people don't talk like that. This is why he's the person he is. Austin is just amazing. Like you consider his, his employees, kids, his, that's, that's ideal. That's ideal. It's, that's that's it's how you, true, man. That's, that's how, how you keep going. That's how I hope all of you can run your business. That's how you keep going, for sure. That's how you, you get have back. to take care of people, man. No, no, you have to. Definitely. So I, I really, really care about my employees' families. I care about them. And uh, I care about them so much that even when we have a day that I know we're not going to make any money, mm -hmm. I still have them come in. We'll hang around the house. We'll do some work around yeah. here. We might go do some advertising, hand out cards. And... Uh, it's just very important to me to treat the people that are helping you grow your million dollar business like a million bucks. Mm -hmm. All right. Pay them the same as you pay them more than you. If you can afford it. I know after I start making more money from this YouTube channel, I'm going to take my salary down from a hundred dollars a day to $50 a day. I'm gonna pay myself. I, I don't want to be rich off of my business but I want my business to be an empire to where it can take care of itself and I can go start another business yeah. or I could just go on vacation, and hang out with my family and, kids. and, uh, yeah. and my employees will be able to take care of that business knowing that I'm taking care of them and I've always taken care of them. So yeah. that's, that's such true. a big, big, big point. It's, it's so a huge point, man. Huge yeah. point. It's, it's the way it is, man. It's it is, it the is. little stuff that helps, you know, the little stuff that helps the people that, helping you so yeah. in yeah. the long run everybody's gonna eat in yeah. your circles and that's the that's best so way true. to do it hey that's guys all right so we're coming up on 37 minutes i see we got 10 people on here still watching we got 10 likes so thank you for yeah. all all 10 people hitting the like button um and if any of you guys are watching this after we're done recording just uh subscribe if you haven't already it's a great channel we Absolutely. got lots of great information and content and also hit that like button for us uh, we're going to go ahead and sign off for the day. Um, I hope you guys learned something. And uh, let me see. Uh, let me answer one more question here. Um, mm -hmm. uh -huh. Oh, yeah, yeah, man. They're making my salary, bro. That's, that's what it is. What's your next big goal, Austin? I'll answer that question real quick. Mm -hmm. So my next big goal, guys, is to have this business running smoothly. And I'm going to start uh, getting into a real estate type of business. Um, but it has nothing to do with actually selling and flipping or renting houses myself. Uh, there's, it's, it's another niche that I believe is just going to blow up. And once I get started on that, I'm going to share that with you guys. So uh, just look forward to that in the next couple of videos. Um, and, and please just keep watching these. We really just appreciate everything and anybody that watches our videos because it's helping us to grow our brand and hopefully helping you to learn and grow your, your brand as well. So uh, without further ado, peace out. Until next time, fellow Earthlings, we'll see, see you later. later.